Hello everyone, thank you for joining us today. The aim of this presentation is to tell you about our BIMI bot. What is it? What is it good for? How did we come up with the idea? How does it work? And who we are? Uh, so let me start with the last question. I'm Vladislav Prilutsky, an engagement manager by Data Art. My specialization is the dark market with all uh, retail and manufacturing sectors. Together with me, here are Anne Katrin Brandt, the lead of the retail business area at our partner Morenas Consulting, the visualist and one of the main influencers of the bot creation. Daria Stapenka, a project manager at Data Art and a brilliant administrator who manages the bot implementation. And of course, Anton Lutov, our senior AI engineer and the bot's creator. Uh, Daria, would you like to start the presentation? Okay, before we start with the bot itself, I'd like to add a couple of words regarding our cooperation with Morenas. Morenas Consulting is a famous niche consulting company focusing mostly on automotive and retail industries and our strategic partner in DAH. Together with more than 50 experienced business consultants uh, on Morenas side, we can provide our customers with end-to-end -end solution and cover the whole list of their business challenges, the so-called one-stop shop. This collaboration has been proved by several years of joint work and series of successfully implemented joint projects. And now I'd like to give a floor to anne -Katrin. Thank you for handing over and welcome everyone. Before talking about capabilities and customer requirements, so let me tell you how we came up with the idea of developing a demo bot ourselves. So on a regular basis, we exchange ideas with our customers about the challenges of digitalization and also possible ways to help. So most of the time, it's about being able to serve customer inquiries faster and thus relieve employees. So having a reputation for finding customer solutions, we gathered their requirements and worked together with Data Art to develop the bot. So that's how the idea was born and the development started. So let's talk about Gen AI and how it can answer customer questions. So as you can see here on the presentation, we, we looked at what it takes to answer questions about various service topics as humanly as possible when communicating with our customers. So let's start with the first box on the left-hand side, which is saying uh, overviewing basic capabilities of Gen AI systems as described here. So first of all, it's comprehending queries expressed in natural language, providing a seamless user experience. So then the Gen AI converts the queries into a searchable format, tapping into extensive knowledge base to retrieve the relevant information. So the system itself can then recognize its limitations and involves human support when needed. So basically to keep the balance between AI and the human touch. So therefore, we had to train the natural language, set also some limits, what can be answered and what cannot be answered by, by Gen AI. And in the end, the format and the answer itself reflects all uh, within the interaction. So let, let me explain you with the box in the middle how it all works out. To deliver the answer as accurate as possible, Gen AI needs access to various customer sources like internal data, for example, about the order, customer contact information, delivery timeframes, or just general instructions how to handle their products. So based on this, this data, the Gen AI is then able to give advice on issues like your smartphone is not turning on or stuff like that. It also can be used to tap into the company knowledge base and retrieve the required information. So, but how can AI help to boost the service quality? So we are now talking about the box on the right-hand side. With Gen AI, we enable the targeted 24-7 customer support with also a transfer to a support agent when required. So here we are combining the efficiency of AI with human expertise. While the system also evolves through self-answering, feedback mechanism, and also the incorporation of additional information. At the outset, it becomes just as good as the documentation, if not better. So then let's switch to the use cases in the next step. 
at the latest, since the launch of ChatGPT, we all know how easy and fast the relief by artificial intelligence can be. So here we have collected a small selection of retail use cases for our bot. First of all, you see on the left-hand side on top, our first use case, which is named by recommendation system built on top of customer knowledge bases. So here it is a bot that helps you to choose the right item based on your description. Right below that, there is the comparison of product information. So this one here is especially useful for areas with a huge number of products or different suppliers to compare all of them and all their products. Then we have the third use case here, which is right in the middle on top. Here we have, you can build all or any products based on, on specific goals. So for example, if you want to create a birdhouse from scratch or grow also an epic orchard. The next couple of use cases uh, can be particularly handy in e-commerce. So we then have the cross-platform search. Here you can match goods from different suppliers. So Gen AI can extract categories from wage requests and without clear criteria. So you just can just ask a question, even if it's fuzzy, and you can get a relevant recommendation and information on that topic. Next one, right on top on the right hand side, it is uh, reducing the time to the first purchase through visual and personal search features. So here we can add and present visual and customized search and help to reduce the time to the first time to purchase in a marketplace. And last but not least, um, we would like to present you the um, yeah one of, of one of the prettiest and uh, perfect uh, cases for your mobile device. It can be a bot which is able to create a customized fitness plan with a ready to prepare meals um, plan and stuff like that. So you have the nutrition plan right on your mobile device created by the bot. I think now you have a good impression of what is possible today. And I assure you that it takes some time to reach the limit of possibilities we can prepare right now. So um, I would like to hand over to the next chapter to Anton to explain the details. Uh, thank you. Um, hi, guys. Uh, so now let's talk about uh, technical details and insights that we have gathered during our development phase. So first of all, what I want to mention is that actually our solution was developed within one, two months. And uh, now let's look uh, how how it works. So let's imagine you want to share your ideas about your potential projects, uh, about your instructions, how to do it, and uh, finally just bring uh, this to life. So how it can be done? First of all, in our solution, you just write a text. Um, it can be a short uh, description of your product or a long description of your product or just uh, a small phrase about a product that you want to build. It will be taken and then processed and converted into a specific message that will be sent to the Azure OpenAI services. The GPT model will respond with a list of materials and it will provide uh, a list of items that can be used, uh, quantities, and uh, whether it's uh, optional or must. After that, that based on this answer, and you uh, request to the Azure OpenAI uh, services will be made. And uh, the GPT model will respond with uh, instructions how to compose a product with uh, those items. And after uh, these three steps, uh, a new step will be about uh, gathering information about uh, up-to-date items from eBay. We, we are using uh, um, the eBay uh, online e-commerce uh, API for that case, and we retrieve uh, um, prices, links to them, and uh, some additional information about uh, items. Actually, you can use other um, APIs uh, of online e-commerce uh, markets, but for our case, we decided to use eBay. About cloud solutions, we used uh, the Microsoft Azure cloud, uh, but actually you can use other clouds as well, like AWS or Google Cloud or any others. If we are talking about some recommendations that I can make about how to make a request to the GPT model, 
first of all, you can write a system message uh, like um, imagine your uh, helpful assistant that knows how to do something. And uh, about a user's content, you can start with some instructions how the GPT model should respond. So you can write a specific example of a table format, answer, or a JSON format, or any other formats. After that, you can proceed with uh, a main um, part of instructions of what the GPT model should uh, solve. So let's go. Uh, and finally, our solution will provide uh, a Word file with a full answer of uh, of uh, a product that you can that you can build. So let's go further to insights. So about insights, uh, actually, um, we have gathered uh, different information. And first of all, I want to mention that actually, uh, you can input uh, your uh, product description in most of languages, not only in English or in German, but our solution just maintain for now only German and English, but actually you can write in any languages. It means that actually GPT model can work with a lot of languages. Um, in addition, uh, you can write, as I said, uh, different formats uh, of your uh, like instructions of uh, answers that you want to, of formats of answers that you want to get. So actually, you can get answers in a table format or in a list or in uh, other formats. If you have a very complex task, you can decompose it in small uh, tasks and solve it step by step and send in, in uh, finally you will get uh, a very complex uh, answer to your complex task um, in addition you can make uh, different guides how to do something for our case we generated um, instructions step by step actually guide how to compose a product but you can generate different guides for different uh, purposes and finally, you can integrate your solution with external tools. For our case, we integrated with eBay API, but actually you can integrate with other APIs as well. So let's go further. Um, mm -hmm. um, yeah. yeah. Thank you, Anton. Yeah. I'm continuing, Daria. Let's talk about, about practical part of uh, and show our audience how the bot works. Yeah, absolutely. So now we are going to show you a sneak preview of our BuyMeBot uh, live demo. Um, and uh, no worries at all. Afterwards, uh, you will also have the opportunity to test and challenge our bot. Just uh, send us a request via the mail um, and we will forward you the credentials um, to the bot so that you can do that. Um, also, a small disclaimer before we start the presentation and the demonstration itself. Um, so our Buy Me Bot is a proof of concept and obviously proof of concepts might have uh, some limitations, so to say. But today we are going to see uh, the ways our bot can be improved during the next development stages. So, so have we not finished the introduction part? <laughs> yes, I'm I sure. guess so. Perfect. Uh, so no, no more abstract things uh, right <laughs> now. So it's uh, time for us to dive into the actual stuff and uh, check out what uh, our BIMEBOT uh, looks like. So here we are. We are on the main um, page. And um, here you can see um, the main um, uh, chat functionality where you can enter your uh, prompt, right? Uh, so, by the way, our uh, chatbot uh, also has the same look and feel uh, on both desktop and uh, mobile versions. Um, and here to the left of the page, um, you can see a switcher between languages. Uh, so, for the time being, is it's uh, German and um, English, but potentially we can integrate any other language uh, upon request. Uh, we also have some uh, information on product uh, owners here, um, usability, compliance terms, and uh, things like that. Um, so now, um, uh, just to give you the idea and the look at uh, and feel of how our bot uh, works, we can uh, try to challenge, challenge uh, the bot itself with some prompts. 
and what problem shall we start with? That's actually a very good question. So why don't we start with our favorite prompt? Uh, we call it the garden prompt. Yeah, yeah, that's my favorite. So just uh, as you know, for the audience, as we have a lot of customers in our retail business area, we often have examples in um, customer service that relate to DIY products. And to solve them automatically in the future, we started with uh, our garden pond case like this. Yeah, and you can see our bot uh, is already working and we've got the output. So here the wow. user um, gets a number of uh, line items uh, like wow. a table of materials, instructions, price bundles, and we also have uh, uh, an opportunity to download the results. So why don't we go inside each of the categories one by one and see what's inside. Let's start uh, with the table of materials. So here we can see see a list of um, items that are required to build our garden pond, like a pond liner, a pond pump, a filter box, and things like that. So um, here, as you can see, we also specified uh, the size of the garden pond. That is why our bot uh, looks for materials uh, specifically tailored for this size. We also have the quantity, which is required, uh, like in most cases, it's just one uh, item. And for uh, the last uh, point for LED point lights, we need four of them. And we also have the status marked. Uh, we have a must have um, category and an optional category. Uh, so next, uh, the user gets the instructions, uh, which are quite detailed as of how to build the requested item. In our case, it's a garden bond, and as you can see, it's uh, like a, a clear sequence of steps as of uh, how you can do it. Uh, then we also tried to fit all kinds of needs uh, and integrated three uh, types of price bundles from uh, the uh, most affo affordable one to the um, high price. So let's look inside and see uh, where we are. So um, the total price for the first bundle is something around 135 euros. Um, and uh, we also get uh, the transcript with the quality and the price per item and the total price. So that might come handy, especially in cases when you get more than one item. Uh, and we also provide our users with links uh, to eBay. So let's uh, look inside some of them. So obviously, as Anton has already mentioned, we can integrate any other um, platform uh, instead of eBay, um, which is uh, actually in German and that can also be changed. But uh, this was designed uh, originally like that. So this is how it looks like, and uh, it's uh, pretty handy. Uh, you can just uh, put uh, the item straight into your basket um, and order everything to be delivered to your house. Um, well, from time to time, as you can see, uh, it's not possible to find some line items on eBay, and this is what we specify, that the item was not found uh, on the platform. Uh, so, well, yes, uh, the rest of the bundles uh, look pretty much uh, the same. And the uh, one last thing to highlight about price bundles is that um, all items that we retrieve from eBay are uh, new because, well, um, it's pretty sure. well known that the eBay um, can also sell uh, some um, secondhand items, used items and things like that. Uh, so, well, uh, we don't have the functionality to save uh, session results yet, uh, but uh, we have a very um, handy function here to download uh, the results for further use. And you can see um, pretty much uh, the same uh, things inside the doc uh, document that you can uh, download to your um, device. <laughs> Well, uh, what's next? Shall we challenge our bots uh, a bit more? Yeah, definitely. Uh, maybe we can go beyond the original DIY topic and try something relatable, something for a weekend. How do you think yeah. about that? 
that's a great idea. I think I have a very nice uh, prompt uh, which is related to different weekend activities. Sounds perfect. So why don't we put it like that? I want to go hiking. Nice. Um, yeah. Then let's try that use case. And um, I hope it won't break our solution, though. <laughs> let's see. Hopefully not. This is not what we are going to do. So let's see. This is not a typical uh, query because we are not asking our bot how to build something, but uh, we are just asking for a general instruction. So let's see how it can handle that. So we already have the table of materials. Let's look inside. Uh, well, that looks pretty realistic, actually. So uh, looks like a list of uh, items that we should go and uh, check whether we have them. If not, then order them uh, on the e-commerce platform, like hiking boots, uh, trekking poles, a sleeping bag, a tent, and things like that. Even an insect repellent is here. Um, let's see what instructions uh, will look like. Um, yeah, so it seems like uh, uh, our bot advises us uh, to go and uh, get all those uh, items. And, um, yeah, seems like we're lucky to have all the items available on eBay. So maybe we can check out a couple of them and see how they look like. So it, as you can see, it's basically some clothing and um, other garments uh, that come handy um, during hiking. Like, for example, a jacket. And again, you can download the results. So you can see um, the bot uh, is able to process uh, uh, different queries that is uh, not originally tailored for, um, and it handles them pretty well. And uh, we always get the um, same structure in terms of the output and the results. So why don't we challenge our bot a bit uh, more and let's try to ask a follow-up question. Uh, I wonder if you can make a barbecue yeah that sounds great let's see if everything is available on on ebay to create a barbecue i definitely shall go hiking this weekend <laughs> yeah sounds like a great plan just don't forget to share your geolocation and Catherine, so that we don't lose you so we are <laughs> i will do so good Okay, so as you can see, this query uh, is also processed uh, successfully, but um, as you can see, it's not pretty much connected with the previous one, um, and the bot uh, is not able to process, um, you know, queries that are interconnected, like in a question form, in a dialogue form, but we can definitely enable this functionality uh, when we um, get down to uh, implement um, hyperlink uh, logic um, in the bot. Uh, yeah. But the, the results look really, really good. So what's next? Maybe we can try out uh, another prompt. Yeah, so maybe let's go beyond logical limits with the bot and have some fun. Maybe we can ask um, some a use case a little bit more crazy. Maybe like... Oh, yeah, absolutely. How do I, I think I, I have... Uh... Do you have fun? Yeah, uh, you okay. wanted to suggest something. Sorry for interrupting yeah. you. Just wanted to su suggest we were talking about a solar powered head last week. So maybe oh, we can ask yeah. how do I make a solar powered head fan? <laughs> that sounds really crazy. <laughs> yeah, let's see how it works. Oh, we are getting some results. Let's nice. see what, what is inside uh, our table of materials. So that looks pretty much so sensible. A uh, solar panel, a motor, a mini fan. I wonder only where the hat itself is. Let's uh, see if we have the main item. So I guess our bot uh, uh, thought that we already have the hat. 
So we also get the instruction, which also makes uh, sense. And uh, as usual, it's uh, pretty much detailed. And let's see what we get. I wonder how it looks like. The motor and the rest of the items uh, should be really, really small for uh, this prompt. That looks small. Yeah. So as you can see, um, the bot can process even exotic uh, queries like that. Uh, also, from time to time, it won't really be able um, to process really uh, crazy ideas like I would like to build a flying saucer or whatsoever but in the end it was not actually tailored for it and designed for it so I hope you enjoyed uh, our presentation and we I guess we can uh, go back to um, to the to the uh, presentation itself and uh, uh, fit, round up our speech Thank you so much. It was really fascinating, as usual. And a short summary, I would like to mention that uh, GNI bots in general have a truly transformative role, among other, in customer support. And BuyMeBot, uh, a cloud-native solution with uh, ChatGPT under its hood, uh, provides a user-friendly experience, enhancing customer satisfaction through uh, personalized uh, assistance. Uh, thank you all for the participation, uh, for your interest to our BuyMeBot, and looking forward to seeing you soon. And of course, in case of question or some thoughts, please contact us, me or anne Katrin or both uh, of us, and we will be happy to provide you with some detailed information, schedule a seminar or workshop. Thanks a lot for the participation and your interest to our BuyMeBot.